All right, welcome to another Fantasy Grounds test channel build video preview. Going to show off what it looks like with 3D view when you have flying tokens. So here you can see I've got a uh, Beholder Zombie and a um, another Beholder as well. So those, those come in, they're from the Monster Manual, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Monster Manual, and uh, they will appear to float. And then the other thing you can do is that you can hold down Alt and then do a mouse wheel, and then you can change their height so that they're now floating in space here. So some different things you can do with that is that um, as they're farther away, if this person was to then control click to target it, you can see that as I uh, increase their space or whatever, um, they should retarget. Sorry, control click. Should recalculate the distance, which actually the distance is going to be the same right now. Let's see. There we go. So your Pythagorean theorem <laughs> will kick in at a certain point, and you'll see that now um, the direct line is now going to change based off of how high the person is. So um, if they get really, really high, and depending on how far away she is, um, you know, it'll adjust the height for the targeting range. Then as uh, the person drops down lower, again, I'm just using Alt and then mouse wheeling. It will tell me um, the new height. There we go. Um, so some other things you can do, let's get rid of these guys, um, is you can change, let's see, let's bring in, uh, Another, like not normal flyer, but someone who definitely has capability of flying. So here I've got a big demon of rock. Then um, this one will just fly up here like that, but you, you'll see that it's going to draw the token the same. It'll just indicate the height. And then if I have someone that's more obviously a flying creature, then we will have set it up as a floating creature, so like a sprite. You can see it's floating a little bit off the ground here. Let's zoom down a little bit here. She's not directly on the ground, but now she can fly up higher. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can go into here, like the background is going to be black by default, but you can change the background color. We're going to look at doing other things such as skyboxes and stuff as well, but for now it will uh, take whatever the ambient lighting setting is. So here if I've got it set to moonlit and I turn it on, then you can have like a moonlit night. Uh, I can change it to be like dawn or sunlit or dusk or whatever or i can just come through here and i can make it whatever color i want let's say you're kind of a dusky blue you can do that and that'll give you a little bit more distinction close that back down again let's see gives you a little bit more distinction from the ground layer and the uh, the sky Turn off player vision preview. There you go. So those are a couple of new features that I hadn't really shown before. Uh, while I'm here, I'll show off a few other little uh, tokens that I thought looked pretty good. So you've got um, an air elemental. This is an SRD. Obviously, this character is a floating character, so you'll see them kind of float above the ground. You have a uh, Irenes. I don't know if I pronounced that right, uh, but there's another flying creature you can do something such as a bullet um, which i think i've showed off in a previous video but one of the things you can do here is you can reverse you can make it basically be below ground so now you can kind of keep track of it and say oh he's 15 feet below the ground and then you can still uh, kind of move him around here and then keep track of where he is below ground which is kind of neat so obviously he wouldn't be able to be targeted here um, the system will still let you maintain a target to him so for instance if Jen was to target the Bulette, she still knows he's 50 feet away, but obviously the GM would then rule. Okay, well, unless you have some other means of targeting him below ground, he's going to be safe uh, until he pops up again, essentially. Or if she has tremor sense or some other mechanism of tracking where he is exactly. You could also just make him invisible, which is another thing you could do. and just say, okay, well, he's below ground. But if you want the GM to like keep track of, okay, well, he, just, he still had to dig down so far and then move around, um, go that way. 
Um, so some other things here is, is that I switch back to 2D view. So this is something that works in both views, although obviously it renders it here. You'll see that there's a negative 15. So if I want to make him, he's flying in the air, he'll be plus 25 feet. So you're just going to mouse wheel and hold down alt. Uh, and you can do that for the players too. If the players have mechanisms for flying, then they can do the same thing. Um, so I could have everybody flying here. And throw in um, your free. Make him fly. And then our old trusty beholder zombie again. There you go. So now switch back into camera view and you'll see that it's basically everything translates over. So now I've got a flying bullet and a free and a player all flying around. And it will keep track now uh, across those. So it'll it'll do the math calculations for you automatically. So if this character rises here, it's going to say 25 feet is the distance between this person and the beholder. And then if this person goes down here, it'll adjust that. So and then as you move around, it'll adjust the distances for you automatically. And you'll just want to move uh, based off the base. So if I can come here. Select this character and then, oops, sorry, I hold down Alt, then it makes me do the force movement or the uh, plan movement, which you can still do within uh, within here as well. So, yeah, you can either move it around freely or if you have tokens locked, you'll see something more like this. Like that. Okay, so uh, I'll make sure to post new videos once uh, we have additional features in the test channel for you to play around with. Uh, do look at, uh, if you can, go and look at some of the monsters from the various D&D uh, books. Monsters of the Multiverse has been converted over. The Monster Manual has been converted over. Uh, lots of the adventures have been converted over as well. The SRDs have been converted over, and we have added a lot of new images, so you'll see a lot of new monsters there. Uh, let us know if you think the scaling that we chose for those is right and the placement of them so that, you know, they're, uh, they look good, they render well within 3D space. Um, or if you have any feedback or thoughts on, you know, the, like for instance, the tokens and stuff like that that we've done. So thanks for watching. Take care.